This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting media compression in Apple Compressor. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to crop and reframe a clip. Let's say that I want to crop an image. It's been decided that although I have a spectacular piece of video that works great with um, 16 by 9, we need to create a vertical video for this. Now the project was done a while ago. We can't find the source project. I can't reframe inside Final Cut. I just want to go back and reframe inside Compressor. So the way that works is, let's drag, we'll work with um, this setting here, and go to the Video tab, and scroll down to where it says Cropping and Padding. If I select this and say 4x3, it crops the image to be 4x3. Now notice I've got a black bar here, but no black bar there. That's because this is showing me a before on the left and after on the right, with a dividing line in the middle that allows me to pan across. This does not show the results of compression, but it does show changes in geometry, and it does show effects like watermarks, which I'll get to in just a minute. So this is a 4x3 crop. By the way, if this bothers you, you can turn it on and off by clicking this button up here. Or I could say, show me more of a film style crop. I've got black bars top and bottom. But notice that in cropping, I don't have vertical video, which is 9 by 16 rather than 16 by 9. Instead, I'm going to go to Custom and stop the crop on the left and on the right. And I'm going to dial in 656 on the left and 656 on the right. How did I calculate that? I know that my image is 1080 pixels high. Divide that by 16 times 9 gave me an image which is 608 by 1080. And if I take 608, 608 pixels, subtract it from 1920 and divide it by 2, left and right side, then I have to crop 656 pixels from the left and the right and I now have my vertical video. I can grab this and drag it to change where that video is going to be cropped, and notice as I do, the numbers are changing over here, so I can say, show me more of the, the edge of the, of the glass being blown. I can also, if I want, manually adjust this, say I'm posting to the web, I can change this by grabbing these different control dots and create something which is radically different. But for right now, let's go back to 656 and 656 and then drag it off center. And turn that off and start the batch. Go over to compressed files and there's our vertical video, perfectly cropped for your favorite mall monitor. This was an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar on media compression in Apple Compressor. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 298. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.